Are you a YouTuber trying to grow your views and your subscribers but are struggling? Well, look no further because TubeBuddy is here for just that. TubeBuddy is one of the best ways to optimize your YouTube channel faster. It helps you optimize your titles, descriptions, and also your tags. You can be rest assured this is legit because it is used by one of the best creatives here on YouTube and also brands like eBay and the BBC. TubeBuddy helps you design killer titles by helping you to select keywords that will rank the best and help you to obtain better views and also subscribers. You get to publish your content in half the time, rank higher and get more views and subscribers in general. My absolute favorite TubeBuddy feature is the fact that you can select tags under your videos that are super popular and therefore helping you to rank you know the best that you can for that particular video which is really good when it comes to you know beating the algorithm now the benefits of TubeBuddy do not stop there they've got a bomb affiliate program if you are a youtuber where you can get rewards like lifetime free legendary uh, upgrade or you can complete simple tasks you know and then get maybe a two month upgrade here or a one month upgrade there or one week free legendary upgrade it's you know the options are like endless you can even get 30 days any level depending on the task and also the size of your channel so why not pair your youtube channel with tubebuddy and start growing today with my code coily d and the link i place in the description below you can start growing your channel right now for as little as four dollars eighty a month or you can go ahead and sign up for the year and get a 20 percent discount make your hard work count and start growing with tubebuddy today hey girl so in this video i will be sharing with you four of my very favorite ways to stretch your roots i will also be sharing with you four reasons why this is very beneficial to your hair now if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do like share this video it really helps me with the algorithm and to make sure that this video is presented to as many naturals and as many curly girls as possible so so please do me the favor and hit like hit share and subscribe now if you're subscribed to my channel you know that i have recently done a video um, showing you guys how i stretch my natural hair with curl formers and while this is a great way to stretch your hair it is absolutely not my favorite way to stretch my roots you'll see that at the end um, after you have rolled the hair with the curl formers it's not really as firm as i like it to be uh, for it to be effective to stretch my roots the best so this is definitely not a method that i use if i want to have you know the best results when it comes to stretching my roots so while i like to stretch my hair with flexi roads i have other methods that i like to use for stretching my roots if i particularly want them to be you know as stretched as possible now benefits of stretching your roots are usually underrated in my opinion you don't see a lot of content around stretching your roots and for me stretching my roots is as important as stretching the entire um, shaft of the hair because it actually aids in length retention what the ends are very important for length retention but the roots are equally important um you guys probably know already that i like to twist my hair and once again twisting is not the best way to get stretched um the more stretched roots unless you are you know being quite firm and maybe uh twisting each individual hair before you twist uh, the two the two pieces of hair together if you know what i mean it generally is not my favorite way to stretch the roots. The first method I like to use and I find very effective to stretch my roots is Bantu knots. Bantu knots are quite easy to do. You can either just Bantu knot the hair 
um, loose or you can twist the hair first and then bantu knot it as you can see bantu knots give you quite a bit of control when it comes to how firm or how loose you keep your um your roots as you bantu knot the hair around which can be quite effective if you can allow the hair to dry in that state of the bantu knot you can have really stretched roots which is super cool now bantu knots can sometimes take a little bit longer to dry so i would really recommend you sit under a hooded dryer attachment or sit outside where you've got a bit of air and you know warmth sun to sort of dry your hair a little bit quicker the next method is banding now this is one i don't use as often simply because i find it a little bit more cumbersome than the rest of the methods however if you like to band your hair this is a good way to have a little bit of control um, of how firm you can um, keep your roots as you can see i am just banding the base of my hair and you can just pass that hair tie you know enough times for you to feel like you've got enough stretch at the base now before i continue i'll just give you guys a few reasons why stretching your hair at the roots is quite important number one is that it reduces the amount of tangles that you experience at the base of which if you've ever had to deal with tangles at the base of your hair guys it is a detangling nightmare another benefit is the reduced amount of breakage that can occur at the base of your hair it's one thing to get breakage at the ends of your hair and of course you won't see much length but you will not see any hair like if your hair is breaking at the base and it could set you back years of length the third benefit is just sleeker looking hair or sleeker styles and finally stretching your roots just help reduce um, your detangling time in general and all this um, accumulates to just help you retain better length thicker hair and healthier hair in general okay so the next stretching method is african threading guys this is one of my best favorite ways actually to stretch my hair without using heat however you will find that it is actually quite a great way to stretch your roots as well it's quite simple to learn if you don't know how to do this i've done many videos on uh, stretching your hair with african threading however what i like about this particular style once again is just the control that you have as to how firm or how loose your uh your your african thread will be you know so yeah this is one way to stretch your roots now just a note for anyone that's going to try this method i have endured a little bit of damage in the past using african threading particularly around my edges because um i sort of crocheted my hair after the african thread and didn't consider um, the added hair so i didn't have enough room at the base to add extra hair so don't be shy if it's too tight for you just unravel and do it again it is not worth losing your edges for you know having you know african threading that's too tight and that's you know something that you really need to be careful about if you're going to do african threading on your hair The last method that I want to share with you guys is braiding. So braiding your hair is another simple, heatless, and yet effective way of stretching your roots. This one is super um, convenient for me because I'm happy to sort of braid my hair and then leave the braids on and just rock my hair like that. So, I mean, if you are not comfortable to wear your hair in braids, I'd encourage you to maybe get a wig or some head scarves or even just headbands to you know zhuzh things up if you know what i mean um but once again braiding your hair gives you a bit of control of how firmly or how loosely you braid the base of your hair thereby stretching them quite effectively you know as much as you want so yeah braiding 
Now, for those people that do not have time to braid or band or use African threading, of course, you can go ahead and just use a blow dryer to stretch your roots. Um, and that's fine as well and quite effective. However, I just wanted to give you guys some options that were not, you know, that did not involve using heat. Um, but of course, it's up to you what method you choose to use. As for me, I like all of these. I use Bantu knots much less than the rest of the methods. However, I have used and still continue to use all of these methods to stretch my roots. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what is your favorite way to stretch your roots or even just all your hair in general. Until next time, it's Coily Diaries. Bye.